So one of the most anticipated fights of the summer is not a heavyweight fight, but it's a welterweight fight. Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao versus Keith one time Thurman. All right, that's probably one of the most anticipated fights of the summer that's happening. One of uh, the reasons is obviously Manny Pacquiao's fine. Manny Pacquiao's a legend. Everybody loves Manny Pacquiao. Whenever Manny Pacquiao fights, guess what? There's asses in the seats and there's eyes watching the TV to see an amazing feat. That's just a fact when it comes to Manny Pacquiao. Uh, as far as Keith Thurman, um, you know what's crazy to me? A lot of people are saying that Keith Thurman is past his prime, things like that. I actually made a video not too long ago asking you to think this fight is between two fighters past their prime. Uh, a lot of people are saying Keith Thurman he ain't what he used to be in his last fight against Lopez. He's, there was a lot of flaws in that fight. But me personally, like in the moment when I watched the Keith Thurman Lopez fight, at first I was like, man, Thurman does look a little uh, rusty. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? He's coming back from uh, multiple injuries. Excuse me. So what do you expect? But for the most part, I had him dominating the fight other than a couple of hiccups. Uh, I had him dominating the fight. Obviously, he didn't look like the, uh, the prime Keith Thurman, but you know what I'm saying? He needs a little time. There's such thing as ring rust, right? But I rewatched that fight not too long ago uh, just because it was on and I didn't have nothing to watch. I was bored, so I rewatched it. And I was like, man, Keith Thurman dominated this fight. There was not even a moment where I thought he, he maybe lost one round. So when, you know what I'm saying, when I went back to rewatch it and took emotion out of it, it's like, man, Keith Thurman is still at the top of this game. So I don't, I don't really know what people are talking about when it comes to that. If y'all disagree with me, that's fine. Go ahead, tell me why y'all disagree. Let's have a conversation about it. But let's get back to the point at hand, right? So um, everyone's excited for this Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman fight happening in July. I know I am. It's obviously uh, this month. It's not too far away. It's going to be uh, a great fight. And not only is it going to be a great fight, but... What comes from this fight, and what I mean by that is whoever wins this fight is going to be a big shakeup in the welterweight division because I think um, if Keith Thurman wins this fight, we can see a potential Keith Thurman-Earl Spence uh, fight. If Manny Pacquiao wins this fight, um, uh, I don't really see a Manny Pacquiao-Earl Manny Pacquiao Spence fight happening, even though it could be a possibility, but I don't see that happening just because um, if y'all remember after Manny Pacquiao beat Adrian Broner, uh, they asked him if he went to uh, fight Spence. And then uh, Manny Pacquiao said yes in the ring uh, at, at, at the post-fight interview. Um, said he wanted to fight Spence. Obviously, you see he's fighting Keith Thurman. So if Manny Pacquiao does end up winning, I see him maybe fight uh, Amir Khan in the future, which I would like to see that fight. So, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Some big things can happen from uh, the results of this fight. But what I'm getting at or what I want to ask y'all, Black Goose TV family, is basically there's been a lot of rumors uh, there's been a lot of uh, different reports and things surrounding uh, these two fighters' training camps, um, a lot of trash talk, um, a, a lot of disrespect, uh, in a sense, coming from uh, Freddie Roach from what he's saying about Keith Thurman and then what Keith Thurman's saying about Manny Pacquiao. Um, obviously, uh, we don't know how legit this is. We don't know if there's any real type of beef. You know, obviously, you need to sell the fight. Um, so there's a lot of that coming into play. But there's been reports... Um, Ever since uh, Manny Pacquiao has started sparring, uh, that he's just been beating up on his sparring partners. He's been, uh, it basically, he's been just easy work for him when it comes to um, getting in that ring and sparring. No one's really been able to hang with him. That's that's the report as of now. Uh, so, what am I getting at? Um, you always hear about sparring reports usually before big fights. Um, you either one hear about the fighter, uh, one of the main fighters getting knocked out or getting TKO'd or knocked down or something like that. Or you hear like what you're hearing with Manny Pacquiao, basically he's been untouchable, he's been unstoppable in sparring. Um, okay, why am I bringing this up? Well, I'm bringing this up because I want to ask y'all, Do whenever you guys hear these reports when it comes to fighters um, either having um, a great sparring sessions before the fight or getting knocked out before the fight or having bad sparring sessions uh, before the fight, do you as boxing fans ever take that into consideration when it comes to the actual fight? Does this make you guys... Um, feel more anxious to see the fight when you hear a boxer is either doing good or bad in sparring leading up to the fight or do you guys when you hear it you kind of hear it and you're like oh yeah okay and you guys kind of move on with your day and it really doesn't mean nothing it doesn't do anything for you guys uh, do you guys kind of just take it as a, a, a basically hearsay and it goes one in uh, one ear and then out the other that's what I want to know so uh, to simple, uh, simplify uh, the question basically what I'm asking y'all Black Goose family is um um, do you guys 
Uh, do you guys believe the reports that uh, Manny Pacquiao was basically do uh, dominating in his sparring? And uh, does it matter to you guys? Do you think that's going to uh, 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 take any effect in the actual fight? And does you hearing that Manny Pacquiao was looking so good in sparring make you want to see the fight even more and make you more excited for the actual bout? Uh, let me know below, y'all. You already know who this is, Black Goose TV family. We got more videos coming out later in the day, so hope y'all look out for that. Appreciate the support. Keep supporting. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Uh, check out the Facebook page, Black Goose. Uh, uh, Facebook.com slash Black Goose. You already know what it is. Mr. Positivity. Stay positive.